Today on the Union Road Wine Trail, we're happy to have had an interview with one of the owners of Malloy O'Neill, one of the older wineries in the Paso Robles area. Now he holds a degree in both biochemistry and fermentation science, which makes him quite an expert in the area and the soil and condition and the growing region of the Paso Robles area. When you're coming in from town, from LA, uh, on the 46, about 10 miles outside of the Paso Robles city limits, you have Union Road, which is the first wine area you'll see is Tobin James. It has the big uh, uh, yellow star on the front of it. It's hard to miss it. Turn left there and, and start your Union Road wine trail tour. We've got a lot of the mom and pop wineries. Um, the chances of you meeting the owner of the winemaker are very high. And, um, these are more of kind of the small 5,000 case and under type mom and pop operations that really the people want to go to. It's the more kind of intimate experience, um, more of a one-on-one -on -one customer relationship is what Malay O'Neill tries to strive for with the highest quality wines that I can produce. Um, you know, doing it all in a small lot kind of um, handcrafted way that makes the wines more intense varietal character, bigger extract, more extracted kind of um, intense varietal flavors that the public seems to be more interested in these days than your full kind of supermarket style wineries. Um, we have, so from Tobin James, we have Bar Winery. Um, they're brand new and I've tried most of the wines. They're very, very good. We have Steinbeck, which is right across the street. We have Malloy O'Neill right here. Um, we're all, those wineries are all under 5,000 cases. Um, we have Falcon's Nest right here and Pear Valley over there. Um, a little bit further down, there's Pemmon Springs and Rio Seco. And I believe Clotier was included on there, although she's a little bit off of Pemmon Springs there. And um, they, the wineries seem to be popping up pretty fast around here. And I'd say in the next couple of years, we'll have, you know, 15 wineries on this on Union Road Trail alone, so you can spend an entire day here. And um, the wines are fabulous. You gotta come out and check it out. You can hit one after another. You can go to your favorite wineries. Um, and there's a hotel right here across the street, uh, um, La Quinta, which is only a couple minutes from here. So you can literally just spend all your time in this east side sector. Um, and the wines are getting better and better every year. And, um, Technology's getting better and just we need to get the traffic out here from LA. So come on people, come and enjoy Paso Robles. Before we leave here, I'd like to do a little shameless marketing of the winery here. We are in our 12th year. We, uh, I actually have two wineries here in Paso. I have a production facility over on Preston Road. That's our main vineyard. It's O'Neill Vineyards. Um, we planted that in 1982. Uh, I started the winery over on that property in 1999. We were not open to the public until 2005. It was our opening date right there it was November 23rd, uh, November 13th actually, 2005. We built the tasting room and we opened to the public. And um, like I said earlier, the, the, the wine region here and the wineries have really just exploded in, in the last 10 years or so. And um, the, what's coming out of here is just great winemakers, great wines that are being produced. And the, it's, just, it's just as more people come in and the more traffic and the more people discover Paso Robles, the better we get and the, the higher the bar is raised. And we've really got some good stuff coming out of this region. To me, as far as bang for your buck, Paso Robles is the way to fly. I mean, really, we've got um, uh, all the wineries, we've got great food, we have really affordable accommodations as far as all the hotels that we have here. We've got a lot of stuff to do for the kids. It's just a destination that has turned out to be really close for San Francisco and people from, from Los Angeles just to come up here um, it's a little bit more than a day trip, but like I said, there's really affordable hotels and there's good food and there's just no reason why not to come up here. It's beautiful. 
Um, the weather is pretty hospitable for most of the year. There's a few months during summer where it's hot and a few months during winter where it's cold, but it's beautiful all year round and it cools down every night. Um, so uh, basically I'd say that pack the car up, forget about gas, and get up here or down here and discover Paso Robles because um, like I said, compared to some of the other regions in California, especially the, the Napa Valley and Sonoma areas, um, you are going to get a good value here. You know, the wines are inexpensive, with very high quality, and everything's affordable. This is not the Disneyland e-ticket uh, adventure where your, your wallet's going to be depleted on arrival. But what you will get, especially on Union Road and some of the back road areas where it's mostly mom and pops, you probably will get to meet the owner or the winemaker and you will have a one-on-one -on -one type of experience that you normally won't get on a Saturday or Sunday in Napa Valley. Um, the chances of you meeting the owner or winemaker are, are pretty good here and, then, and that makes it a little bit different there because that's what people want. They want to come out here, they want to see the vineyard, they want to talk to the, the, the principals and, and, to, and to get a little education out of it and to get an experience. And that's more than you know, we, we concentrate on just handcrafted, big, extracted red wines that are of the highest quality that I could possibly produce. And basically, we try to deliver a one-on-one -on -one customer relationship that is going to leave the, the taster wanting to come back and tell their friends, you know, because they say if, you, if, a, if a taster has a bad experience, they're going to go home and tell everyone they know. They're going to tell 10 of their friends about the bad experience they had. If they have a good experience, they're going to tell three of their best friends. And those three people will probably end up coming here and we've got three new loyal customers. So that's how it works and that's how we like to. Um, that's, you know, it's, it's a lot of word of mouth in this business, especially at our level, and we rely on making sure everyone leaves a happy customer. You will find Malloy O'Neill's right in about the middle of the Union Road wine trail. And when you're there, stop in and say hello, and you'll receive a map of the Union Road and free wine tasting at all the wineries along the Union Road, plus a discount on all the wine you purchase when you're on the Union Road.